Look at the color on this. I don't know if you can see the color, but it's like pink pink. Like fluorescent pink. When we get to the waterfall, I'll show you the rock slide that we have to go up. It's just brutal. I'm gonna build somewhat of a debris shelter under this, using this rock for a base. It might have been a mistake to come up here, but we gotta make the best of it. We're stranded. At least you get to see our outdoor survival skills because this is real. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. This year, Zach Fowler invited me on his second season of his 30-day survival challenge. For 30 days, we'll have to live off of plants and whatever we can catch and cook. Day six. Today the goal is to hike to a lake in the back up here. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a hike for sure. So, but it's an adventure. And I wish I would have brought my toothbrush. I forgot it. But <clears throat> they say you can use horsetail as a toothbrush. So I guess I got no choice. It works. Clean them right off. You gotta spit the little pieces out, but it is working. Actually worked well. It does work well. Well, we're more than three quarters of the way. It hasn't been the hard part yet. The steep part is going straight up rock slides like in behind where uh, I am. It's this way, we can't quite see it yet, but when we get to the waterfall, I'll show you the rock slide that we have to go up. It's just brutal, but 
We really want to get there because it's just 300 feet up that rock slide is our lakes. So, and I know the fishing will be good, so, but it, packing the pack and everything has taken some energy out of us. We haven't been eating great, great. So I'm hoping if we can get to these lakes and maybe, of course that'll be a problem too, then we'll have a bunch of fish to pack down. But it'll be a problem but a blessing. So we'll see how it goes, see if we can have the energy to get up that rock slide. Right behind me, I'll get out of the way, but that log in the back there, we just had a grizzly bear cup that came across the log. I saw it come this way, and then Zach saw it go back the other way. So we know Mama's in here somewhere. So we gotta be careful. We made it to the hike in lake, but it was a lot further than I remember. Partly because we couldn't drive nearly as close as uh, I was able to years ago. But that just killed us, that hike in. We're not even gonna hike back out tonight. We're gonna make do. We didn't bring any bedding. Um, so we're not really prepared. We have a raincoat each, no food. And we're just gonna have to make do. I think Zach has a little bit of coffee. But we're gonna have to hunker down and hope that it doesn't rain. Try to figure out some kind of shelter, debris shelter, whatever. Maybe some of these rocks, maybe there's a spot and put some moss or... We have to figure it out because neither one of us feel it to try to get out of here. It would take three or four hours at least to get out of here. So we're kind of stuck for the night. It's the way it is and the mosquitoes. We're dealing with that too. Might not be a pleasant night, but we have to do it. Right. I actually caught one already. Zach got that on film, but we are hungry. We want to be able to get a few. So tired, I can hardly fish. Second one out of this lake. They're not huge, but you know what? This one, oh no, it's a cutthroat too. But anyway, I'm just glad we're not getting skunked after a hike like that. Whew. And now we gotta sleep on the ground with no bedding. Could rain. Last thing we need is not to have any food. It'd be a tragedy, I'll tell you that. Okay, keep fishing while they're biting. Okay, got another one. Got another one. Don't want them to get off.
This is the weirdest cutthroat I've ever seen. Like, look at the color on this. I don't know if you can see the color, but it's like pink, pink. Like fluorescent pink. I've never seen anything like it. I might let it go just because it's an oddity of nature. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Well, it seems there's a possibility it could rain. We didn't bring any bedding. So we don't want this to turn into a dangerous situation. We do have one tarp. I have enough firewood, so but it's starting to rain now. If we get some downpours like we had, that wouldn't be a good thing. And there's no way of hiking out of here in the dark. It's just a big rock slide and we wouldn't be able to do it. So we're stuck here whether we like it or not. So I'm going to try to set up some kind of a debris shelter in case it pours rain. Try to deflect some of the water. I'm going to get tucked under that big rock there if I have to. But there's only a couple of feet under there to work with. So I'm going to have to build something over the top. And I've got these branches I'm going to cover with moss. Anything that might help if it starts to rain hard. And then, of course, the fire to dry out if you're getting wet even under there. But this could be a dangerous situation, so we got to take it serious. We got another hour of light. We got to figure something out in case we get into a bad situation. Um, before dark, we got to be prepared for whatever might happen. If it's a downpour, that wouldn't be good. I'm going to build somewhat of a debris shelter under this, using this rock for a base. Moss comes off these rocks pretty easily. So I'm going to try to put moss like this and then at least I can get under here. Hope it doesn't rain. But it's been raining a lot, so you never know. Tired. What a day. Might have been a mistake to come up here, but we got to make the best of it. We're stranded. At least you get to see our outdoor survival skills because this is real. should layer it like this so that the bottom one the top one goes over top just like shingles it's the way you want to do it so you can see here where I got a big patch of um, moss it comes right off the rocks it's about two inches thick which should be good enough to especially the angle I have it on that the water should run right off it so It'll work just like shingles. Heat up some hot rocks. This one here is pretty warm. I could bring it inside to keep warm if I have to, like a hot water bottle. It's gonna be a long 
night. Especially if it rains. But now I feel a little better. Got a spot to hide out of the rain if I have to. Zach's building a shelter over there as well. So we really did not plan on this situation. It just was too far and too difficult. Neither one of us had the energy to even go back. And we didn't bring anything with us really. But we will make it. This is what we do. There's the mountain goats anyways. Can't really see much of them, but they're there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a little one, so they got a they've got a baby there too. But it's amazing how they can go places. Look at how far away they are and how crazy up that up on that cliff there. So that was a terrible night. Sat by the fire all night, didn't get any sleep. I didn't have to use the shelter though because the stars were out and it didn't rain, so that was good. But otherwise, didn't get any sleep. Basically heated up rocks to put in my pockets. Um, just kept the fire going all night and I tried dozing off, but it wasn't comfortable enough to get any sleep. So we're gonna try to head back to uh, the other camp. That's enough of this hike in Lake. It was a brutal experience, but it's an interesting experience too. There's a rabbit just near camp, and, uh, but it's not hunting season. So I guess he's off the menu. He's like, wouldn't I go good with some morel mushrooms, and some cow parsnip, and some adobo? Oh yeah, but you can't eat me. Basically dinner, we uh, have four little fish still to cook, but we're doing cow parsnip, and believe it or not, we're in July, and we found or, uh, morels. I was gonna say shaggy manes, but morels. Even found uh, the grays, which is kind of unusual. I don't see grays too often. But I mean, to find morels this time of year, they're usually out in May. But we found some, and then I'll cook up uh, the rest of our dock as well. So, we got lots of veggies for tonight, so that's good. I'm tired. My legs are so sore from that hike. It just did me in. Using this as a plate works just fine. We'll get some dock. We gotta get some cow parsnip. Gotta leave some for Zach. He's hungry too. Don't know why. 
I got some of that, and then I gotta try to find some mushrooms. Morel mushrooms? They just look like little like brains or something. <laughs> Yummy. There's one. There we go. Nutrients. That cow parsnip looks exactly like we had like store brought broccoli in there. It tastes very different from broccoli. Greg's saying the uh, stuff's pretty bitter. It is, yeah. All of it? Pretty much all of it, yeah. Well, it's just that, you know, the dock is past its due date. And... I believe him, but I think Wadobo fixes pretty much everything, so. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> Duct tape. Just like duct tape. <laughs> duct tape you can eat. Wadobo. Oh, I was prepared for the dock to be worse. Holy cow, that one was bitter. And that one was mild. You're still getting the, the nutrients, but it just Ugh. Yep. doesn't taste that great, right? The mushrooms are delicious. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Mmm. Like these taste like you have little bites of meat. Brain. You got those grays too, eh? Did you get some? No, let me try oh. a gray. I, I just, I only had two mushrooms, but. Oh, well, here, have some more. I just want to taste one. Here's a big one. There, one more. Thanks. Mm hmm. What a guy giving me all the mushrooms. Well, you found them. Mmm. Mmm. What a treat. Very, very strange to find them this time of year, too. That's usually hmm. me. I know I collected quite a few last year and they were pretty good. We had some good dinners with them. The mushrooms are definitely the treat in this whole feast. It's yes, like, they are. And the dock is good, but the more you eat, the more bitter builds up. Like they're, the period in which wild plants can be eaten is such a shorter period. And they all have some sort of a thing, like a hint of fragrance of like floweriness or like a cow parson, but I feel like I'm, has a touch of um. I can think it was like fragrance to it, yeah. you know, that in small amounts isn't bad, but in bigger amounts it just tastes like you eating perfume. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Would you like to try this? <laughs> what? But still good for you, regardless. We got to start making some good teas. I like the pineapple weed tea. Yeah, that's that like was one of really my favorites. Good. What other teas have we got out here that we can be making? I see Pearly Everlasting and Yarrow and Horsetail. And we got to just start making some more teas just for our nutrients. You know, at least the teas taste a little better. You know, like a lot of these plants we're using right now are past, like I say, their due date. They're not tasting good anymore. So we're getting stuff, nutrients out of them, but. It's not as good as they should be. Well, we're doing good. We survived our hike, made it back, had a nap. Oh, I do miss pizza and wings.